What is happening, YouTube? Blair McKeithen here representing Formula Golf out here at my home golf course in Malaga, Spain, La Cala Golf Resort and Spa. They have been wonderful to me, and I'm proud to represent the golf course wherever I go from this point forward. So be sure to come once this whole coronavirus thing is over and you're able to travel. Come to the golf mecca of Casa del Sol and play La Cala. One of the cool things about this place, I'm up here at the academy with my coach Fabian Lozano, is that they have a six-hole par three course, um, and it's where I go to work on wedges and short games. So my coach and I, Fabian, are going to go here and show you what I've been working on with Wedge Matrix. I've been out here for the last three weeks. Uh, I leave tomorrow, actually, to start preparing for the first two events of the season in Lecce, Italy. Really excited to get the, the season going, and the game is looking real nice. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you learn a few things. Let's hit some good spinny pitches. Oh baby. Let's show some wedge matrix. A shot that I've been working on. Well, a, a different short game style that I've been working on since I got here. Short game has improved immensely. It's honestly it's been the most inconsistent part of my game over the last few years. So I wanted to get over here and then become a world class. I still have a, a, a long way to go. It's going to take some time, yep. but it's so much better than what it was before I got here. What, is, what, what you were doing before? Which was your kind of doing short? Honestly, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be able to tell you. There wasn't like a specific, it was kind of whatever was wor was working at that point in time. And a lot mm -hmm. of times that, that results with in trying to time things a lot. Like, yep. like you know, I'm sure my handle was, my, I had a problem with handle dragging. So when the handle drags, my club, yeah. the, the ball went everywhere. So like, it's not like you this. Yeah, basically you were, you were basically the lofting probably. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So a shot like this, like I mean, I don't even remember how I would have played it now, which is a good thing. It's like so far out of my memory. But a shot like this, where I have to have landing on a down slope with a bunch of spin, like I, I would really struggle with this shot. So it's the worst like, feeling. It's the shot that uh, I think I hate the most. So I had a lot stronger grip uh, before this, so I got to be more like this. Now weaker left. Yeah. The right, softer. softer. I really right feel, hand. I really feel this. So like, like my tattoo, I guess, is almost more pointing towards yep. the ball more instead of like out this way or anything like that. It just kind of feels like it's hanging here. Yep. So with that with a weak grip, I kind of yep. my feel is I hold it here, like it just yes. falls in place. And just turn. Right. And then you just turn. Funny hand. Spanish hands. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get me some savvy hands. But like that's that. really nice. That's coming of the of the traffic yeah. itself and, and with a lot of friction. Exactly. The friction is the thing that you hear the most when you hit these shots. Like when you were when my before I got here, like my my uh, my short game, I guess, like mm -hmm. the sound varied whether it was a yeah. gunk really hard Toop. or it was like Toop. Yeah. This is more like it sticks on the face and it's just it's, it's just so much easier. So more neutral setup. Yep. Club is not as near as four no. press. You know, the weight's setup. not near as much on the left side. Connect the elbow and turn. Yeah, that's nice. So like, you know, what creates that sound a lot is... Even though I think you can show oh, and do that. Oh yeah, of course. We, because we practice that. Well, that's that's how we use this. Uh, that's what we did for the first week. I basically yeah. did most of my practice on the, on the, on the greens here. Yeah. And there is this skimming action that is perfect. So, uh, what creates the skimming action, I guess, for and the sound is I'm actually really hitting the ground before. Yeah, the yeah. Ball. I mean, you're touching, you're touching the the green before the ball. Yeah. But there is no, there is no extension on the radio, so the bounce can skim perfectly. Yeah. It's, the 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 radius is completely constant yeah. in the shot. Whereas before I would go like this and then I would increase yes, this way factor. to try to throw the club head, you know, doing this way because my grip was strong, weight's forward and stuff. So if I don't throw, it just comes like this. Yep. So I'd have to try to throw to avoid the handle drag, and but I'm only mainly throwing my right arm, extending it, and then yep. I basically have to, get, have to get lucky to make good contact. But now it's, you know, the, the luck factor of it is gone. Like, I, you know, I'm really confident that, especially off a light like this. Going to really clip it nice. Just let it go, just like that, a little spinner. 
I well, those two are good. Those are both of them. Every time you're hitting behind the ball on purpose. Yeah. On well, purpose. And when you when you hold the the raise, it kind of just naturally does it, you know, yeah. which is really good. And like you know, this isn't to say I can't hit a little bit higher. So. Even though, as you see, the ball is just slightly on the left. Yeah. Even with the ball on the left, I'm keeping from the green. There is no mistake. Yeah. The contact is perfect. I think I can go even more. Left. Yeah. I open sure. the thing up, put the hand down a little bit more, and I think I can hit the thing nice and high with the same more or less the same exact feel. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, super nice. Sir. Huh? So, yeah, that's what we've been working on. Enter the matrix. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Try to explain to the viewers, I guess, what exactly I'm trying to do here. Because it's, uh, yep. You know, to, to some people it might just look like, oh, you're just pitching it or whatever, but the, what we're trying to create, the shot we're trying to create by this action, I guess, try to explain it a little bit. Yeah, we were basically on that. You know, you came with this pattern of Coming, coming a bit that way, that it seems a straight line, but in reality it's a bit out of the line. So that makes the club pass a bit more steep, a bit more left. And then the contact with the ground is, is too steep. Basically the, the bounce, it wasn't working that way. Yeah, it was not. And obviously the lofting, you know what means, that increases the smash factor. So you get a ball that is going to pop out a bit harder, but with lower spin. Yeah. So the first step was, neutralizing the, the posture, ball center, shaft center, and a bit neutral grip, yeah? Then the idea was to make the takeaway a bit more, a bit more round, yeah, like just connecting this right elbow, yeah? And from here, with the soft wrist, just rotate. And by that rotation, you control the radius of the swing, and the bounce board exactly, exactly perfect skimming on the ground. There is no this action. Right. You see, I make one action that is lengthening the radius. So I need to create an action to reduce the radius. But that combination makes this showing the edge to the ground and making the lofting that is going to make the ball take off harder. And another, another miss with doing that kind of a uh, style I guess is the short right glance miss. Exactly. Where it never it barely ever gets on the club. Exactly. Stage. When that's a that's a reaction. When you feel that the balls are going too hard and yeah. with no spin, what you're trying to do? You're trying to to save it. You right. open the clapping and then you have this the soft to the right oh, that goes yeah. nowhere. Like that. Oh, oh, that was so good. How does this work on a down slope? Yeah on a down slope Obviously, it's a, it's a shot that is a bit, requires a bit more skill. But there is a way to create this kind of a space to move the club shallow, more parallel to the, to the slope. As you see, if I have this setup, and I take this move, if I turn, probably I don't have much more space here because now my foot is a bit higher, so my knee is going to be a bit more flexed. So what they do, just to create a bit more space, but do exactly the same movement as the baseline of West Matrix, is this. I move the foot just slightly back. So now I can pull, then, then I can go. Pull, then I can go. Yeah, I do it now this time, bless. No pressure. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here I am on a down slope, not as severe as the one that Fabio was just on. Uh, hopefully this gets me a pretty good view. I'm landing on a down slope, so I need to get, clip this thing really nice with some, uh, some good spin. So, just like he said, doing the, the basic of the wedge matrix, and then just put the right foot a little farther back, create that little space. Crushed it, but it was really good contact. So, w one of the other things, too, is that you want to increase the radius through the ball, correct? On yes. a down slope like this. Exactly. We want to keep the club as shallow as possible to the ground, parallel, to create this kind of friction on the ball. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Lots of spin on that one. So, and it's done with the 60. Yeah, this is with the 60, and that's low and spinny. And I'm landing on a down slope, so I mean, uh, I think a lot of people would probably try to bump this into the hill. Yeah, and then here. hopefully the ball. Yeah, and hopefully it works out, or try to flop it or something, but. In reality, you can get a lot of spin even off of a downslope lie by just doing this. That. That's pretty 
good. I mean, I'm super happy with the contact and just the ability to, the ease in which the shot has mm -hmm. steadily been, been coming, the better I'm getting at it, you know? So. Excellent day. All right, and so let's try an upslope. We're on an upslope now. This is a pretty severe upslope. Okay, now what we're going to do is, obviously we're going to set up the ball slightly on our left. And then we, we were talking about, you know, lengthening or shortening the radius of the swing. Now, obviously here, we need to make it shorter through the shot. We need to make the radius shorter. So instead of finishing, here, center, on the belly, we're going to finish more here on my right pocket. If I finish on my right pocket, you see the radius is shortening through the impact. If I finish on my left pocket, it's lengthening. So I need now this shortening. I connect my elbow then here on my right pocket. Oh, very nice. And then, you see, obviously you need to Instead of having the 60, maybe here is better the 54 or even yeah. the pitching wedge. But the contact with the ground is not... Yes, not, it's, it's not, not jamming down, into it. The bounce is still, is still working through the impact area. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's go. All right, so following that exact advice here, let's see if I can finish on the right pocket and ball is slightly more to the left. Right, more to the left. Yes. Good, Mark. That's really good. That, that thing floated nice. You never get tired of good contact with short games. Oh, like, no. There's the, <laughs> One of my favorite spots of the game. There's a few better things in the world than a perfectly clipped pitch shot or, you know. Ah, that's even better. Look at that. That's in. Oh, in. Yep. Oh, oh look it. Oh, I oh, like it. Exactly. Like a cell. Exactly, and that this action of of throwing is using the arms. Yeah. And we know the engine. The engine is this. Once I connect, then then I turn. I use my bigger muscles to create more yeah. uh, constantly repeated shots. And the, the the feel like is when you, when you talk about bigger muscles, it doesn't mean that you lose the feelings of your hands. Your hands are what are, are you know what produces a lot of that little that little yeah. speed at the bottom or whatever, yeah. you know, the soft hands These that kind of goes like yeah. this. So it's not like you're sticking it here, big muscles, boom, boom. You're no. still using the artwork of your hands to allow for your own little this magic on yep. it. Yep, or this flawless. Yeah, if, exactly. So like when we're talking about baseline wedge matrix, it is the baseline of what we did on the normal pitch yep. shot, the downhill and the uphill, it's all the same. But the difference is, you know, you're using your, you're still using your hands and to create feel. And I think that's why I, I, this has really resonated with Finish me. Finish on the right pocket. On the right pocket. Move the bounce parallel to the, to the back. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just an unbelievable amount of spin. It's good. All right, let's see. We'll finish off Come on. more. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite fun. I could do this all day. Look at that. Good job. Excellent. All right. Thank you, now ben. we go to the bunkers.